welcome to the next lesson, placing your first inventory order. Here's what we're gonna cover. What you should have already prepared so that you're ready to order your inventory. What exactly to say to the supplier. How much you can expect to pay upfront versus later. And then how to actually pay for your inventory. Now here's what you need to gather before placing your order. You'll need your company name or your name if you don't have a company. Now this will be important for importing the product. They have to have that. You'll need your product name because they'll put this on the invoice and on the shipping documents. Your logo design, and that's assuming that you're putting your logo on the product itself. The number of units you'll be ordering. Then you'll need your product packaging design, your insert designs, and any instruction manual designs as well. Now, if you don't have those last items, it's possible to go ahead and place your order without them and send them to your supplier once they're ready. Just be sure to ask your supplier if that's okay and how soon they'll need those designs. Here's what you'll be sending to your supplier. You'll use the inventory order message template, but keep in mind, it's just a basic template and every order is different, so you'll need to modify it quite a bit. You wanna give them all the information and designs for your product. Let them know how you plan on shipping the products, by air, by sea, or maybe even a combination of both. You might wanna send 100 units by air first to get going sooner, and then the rest by ocean. If you have a freight forwarder picked out, put them in touch with your supplier directly. I would do that in a separate email, copying both of them. And then you should receive an email back with an invoice, and your supplier will most likely call this a PI or a pro forma invoice, and they'll give you payment instructions along with it. Be sure to check the invoice for accuracy, such as quantity, packaging, color, and other options. And then it's completely normal if they ask you to pay 30% upfront and then 70% when the units are ready for shipment. Speaking of payments, here's how you can expect to pay for your order. More than likely, they'll ask you to pay for your inventory shipment via wire transfer from your bank. This is the most common method. If you can pay via PayPal, however, it's not uncommon for your supplier to ask you to pay the PayPal fees, which are usually around 4%. Remember, you should pay around 30% upfront, that's standard. Sometimes we've seen suppliers ask for 50% for new buyers such as yourself. And finally, after you've made the payment, be sure to check with the supplier to get confirmation that they received it. Here's what we covered in this very short lesson. We learned what you should have prepared so that you're ready to order your inventory, what exactly to say to your supplier, how much you expect to pay upfront versus later, and then how to pay for your inventory. That means that if you're ready, it's time to place your first inventory order. And then I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll talk about what happens after you place your order so you know what to expect.